Greetings, Commanders. Today we got a new update, 1.9.5. This is going to actually be a pretty significant update uh, that includes new features, new balancing changes, and a ton of quality life improvements. We're going to have new strikes. We're going to have new missions. We're going to have new turrets, new native modules for each individual class of flagships that actually we get to get support for our destroyers or our escorts now. So let's just dive right in. So there's going to be a new strike called Nightmare Golf. Um, this is going to be in the normal strike menu, but uh, you can only access it after you've completed this Nightmare Golf mission. I haven't completed it yet, so I don't have access to that strike. won't be able to show it off, but I will get that soon. I'll make a video for that. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys want that. We will have a couple new missions, um, long-term missions. Internal, you'll have to refabricate an internal fabricator module. And then we'll also have to mount modules in the front of the back. Now, I think this can just be done uh, if we go to internal modules, if you just remove a module and then replace it. Um, we can complete that mission so you don't have to construct anything. You'll still have to maybe construct the, fabricate the fabricator. It isn't done yet? Okay. And that will complete, and I'll get some codes. Uh, I think there's a couple more missions. One of them was upgrade something to level 9. A uh, couple other cool new missions. So that's nice. Um, they'll want more later game missions. Those were kind of early ones uh, because they rearranged some of the story too. Um, so this is going to be... this is The Nightmare Golf mission is going to be really cool. It's going to be multiple waves of enemies. Um, so you can have wave defense. And in order to complete these, now you're going to get new turrets, new access to new turrets. So in the main market, um, first of all, there's new, a new equipment pack, which is kind of nice. This looks like a pretty good tier four pack. Um, I was able to see the ships, but I'm not able to see what this officer is here. So it's just an epic officer with a name, but it looks like it comes with already fabricated modules. Um, a couple of T4 support frigates, a couple of T4 turrets, uncommon. Um, so it's a nice little level up pack for players that want to spend some money. If you don't want to spend some money, um, there's plenty of free stuff to buy. There's plenty of free stuff to earn. Uh, and the newest stuff is all these epic turrets. Um, so now we're going to have access to these through code fragments. Um, you'll be able to purchase these. You can look at the stats through them. Um, pretty much all epic all weapons are available now in Epic Series. I don't think they're available in um, Rare or Uncommon yet, but uh, at least we got Epic. So we also have the introduction of new new M-mount torpedoes, as well as... Uh, we'll go through all the weapons here in just a second. But definitely, uh, oh, new um, kinetics. That's what they were. I think those are only available in signals. They aren't available in the market yet. Twin DR, that's no, Pulsar, Pulsar, Bion. Yeah. Sorry about that, but they're not in there. Um, nothing else has really changed the market except for the code fragment market. Um, now, as your tier increases, you can get more um, codes per prestige. Um, so now you can purchase up to 180 of the ship codes um, with prestige or 135 of the research codes. So that's pretty significant. I think these are still weekly cooldowns. Um, so you can only purchase, you know, 300 a week or so, but that's actually a pretty significant bump over the 20 that you used to be able to purchase. Um, so those are the same. You're not, not able to buy two extra ones. Prestige markets mainly unchanged. Uh, but we do have some new options. Um, I believe now that... Yes, these um, are sellable. So now you can sell your dead currency instead of turning it in at liaison. So you can sell these in the markets here. Um, also, we have some new additions to, I believe it's just modules. And um, I'm not going to go through each one of the liaisons. But I can go through the Yalta one while we're here. So liaison requisitions. 
Um, nothing new here. Let's see. All those are normal. Um, oh, let's actually go through the clan shop because that's received some new stuff. Um, so, first of all, in the clan market, if you have access to your clan um, licenses, you'll have a new license up here if you collect it. It's worth 39k. Um, it's basically a replacement for the Pulsar, because the Pulsar, the Epic Pulsar is no longer available in this market. It is in the other market now. Um, so, with that, I unlocked the Destroyer Extender. I'm still a couple credits short of purchasing this, but I will purchase this and install it. This is the new flagship module that goes in the flagship and apparently supports um, the Destroyer threat range, detection range. Um, alters the size of the Destroyer ship, making it more likely, more likely enemies will attack the Fleet Destroyer. Ah, okay, so this makes it more of a target than your flagship that's cool um so that means you could probably tank a little bit longer um and then the, also the license frigate target relay is if you run frigates this makes them increase their fire control range which i think is the yellow line I believe this is the fire control range so it increased that don't have it yet can't confirm it uh but that's what it's looking like um as for weapons uh oh balancing changes yay balancing changes these are actually great um torpedo weapons now increase from a hit chance against frigates specifically from 90 to 100 percent pretty significant um ions also increase their hit chance against frigates 100 percent because the ship's not moving how can you miss it honestly um which makes a lot of sense so now there's um some significant boosts for the hull and armor damage and it looks like we also might get access to new weapons or to new um abilities officer abilities that are specifically targeted for the ion and there's burst, and I believe torpedo is one as well. Maybe increases the fire rate. Um, as with the, the changes to the market, to be able to purchase more weapons with code fragments, they've also increased the drop rates in signals for these. And speaking of increasing stuff, they've also increased the RE yield for a lot of modules. So I'm going to go into the refinery here. I don't think I have. I think I'll have to go into the eternal modules. Um, so this was 28 and 28, and so that seems about the right, uh, look up the specifics here. Prestige market, uh, we'll go through some of those terms. Okay, so increase uh, mining yield, um, of resource extractors by 50%. Gas yield is increased by 50%. Idle mining collection of resource controllers is increased about 50%. So the raw collection from controllers and res... Let's see. This one's full of maintenance ships too. There's a resource collector. Um, so this mining yield is 271 now. Or a tier three rare, um, which is actually pretty significant. It doesn't include the um, RUY RUB bonus. Um, so I, I bet the base is probably well over three hundred for the rare. I don't know. It's all in storage. I'm not gonna get that out. Um, but also the rare earth yield and increase for all rare earth mining operations. So these are star based operations. Um, those increased by about fifty. To 100% for most of them. Um, the rare earth yield from refining is increased. So the sorting module went from 20 to 28. So yeah, that did increase. This was originally 20 um, internal modules. So the rare earth is now 28% on uh, um, 28 units. And the regular... I don't have any regular <laughs> Um The regular one is from 15 to 21 now. There's also been a 
pretty significant research balance, um, reducing all the previous costs of research and time. So now stuff doesn't take days, it takes hours to research, which was a significant bottleneck for T2 and T3 when you have to do all the research. And yeah, um, but probably one of my most favorite changes here is the blueprint library. So now in your storage tab, uh, you'll have access to the ship based storage, you'll have um, your stash, which is, you know, somewhere, I don't know, who knows. Um, and then we'll have access to our blueprints. Now this will be independent of our um, fabrication, but you'll also notice here that we now have a new sorting method for us. So now we have flagship separated, escort separated, destroyers, beyond all that, squadrons, corvettes, collectors, um, and, and then our internal modules will still be able to access. External modules, they're still organized by just being turrets. Um, and then the rest of this is all the same, down to items and uh, intermediate products. So this will allow you to click on it. Um, you could just toss it to a fabricator. Um, that's really cool if you have one available. Um, let's see, if I make a flagship, I can send it off to the shipyard. Um, and it actually puts it in there and I can build it. Fantastic. I love that quality of life. That's great. Um, and I'll go ahead and collect this and we can see how that looks, how that updated menu looks for our um, fabricator here. Oh, well, it's just a regular. Um, sorry, never mind. I don't, I only have parts fabricator. Um, but the menu for the shipyard, maybe. Yeah, this, so this matches the same thing. Now shipyards are sorted by pipe and then um, sorted by rarity. We'll see all the, the old tier and then the rarity, sorry. Oh, that's cool. I like it. And they have indicated now that these are infinite or if there's just one of them. Um, great stuff. Love that kind of stuff. Um, so they it also looks like they've fixed the anomalous game score, uh, gear score, GS. Um, so that looks about right. Pretty hefty little boy back there. Um, and also flak turrets and some UI fixes are fixed. So now flak turrets no longer do friendly damage and, um, apparently the repair burst ability no longer does enemy healing. Um, so overall, fantastic update. I love this. Um, really excited to dive into some of these, um, Updates and changes. One of the updates, they said that they had uh, improved the opening for headhunters boxes. And they haven't necessarily indicated that they're regular boxes yet. Um, but overall, I think they're making improvements on the UI interactions and navigations for this, those kinds of elements. And really looking forward to seeing how far they can take that. Um, and I think that is all. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to like and subscribe. If you uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to drop a comment or visit our socials at Vertical Bar Media on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever. We're there somewhere. If we're not there, tell us. We'll get there. Um, yeah, and uh, make sure to stay safe out there, Commanders. Uh, good luck in Nightmare Golf, and I'll see you next time.